Yo guys, Cheesecake 44 here. And today, um, so we're gonna do something new today. So I just saw the movie, um, Captain America and the Civil War, so cancel this video if you don't want me to spoil it because this is a spoiler right here. I'm just gonna talk about, like, what the good stuff about it was and stuff because it was probably my favorite movie ever. Just <laughs> so I definitely invite you to watch it. Um,. So, yeah. So first off, obviously, there's two teams, Iron Man versus Pat. I mean, what the hell am I saying? Um, Iron Man versus Captain America. Um, so, Iron Man's team is obviously um, Iron Man and Spider-Man, which is really cool because I did not expect him until I saw the trailer. I mean, really, like. I mean, it was obvious because, like, what was, um, during all this commotion in New York City, what was Spider Man doing? I mean, really, obviously. I mean, in the movie, he was a kid, so. Um, yeah, he was just a little kid. He was only, he's only been using this power for six months, while in the current movies, he's been using it for, like, years. So, yeah. He's using his, um, middle finger, which is awesome, because fuck you. Yeah. Next we got the guy who Iron Man created, Vision, so pretty cool because he could like um go through stuff. It's basically Jarvis, like with um crystal. It's pretty cool. Um he um just shoots beams and stuff. But he he doesn't play like a huge role in the movie, but he's like decently in it. like he just plays a little bit into it, let's just say that. Um, but also he's the one who, um, hurts, um, you know, he, um, hurts this guy, right? Poor machine. So, um, he plays a huge role in the movie. I don't know why. I did not expect that at all. Like, whatsoever. Even more than Spider-Man. However, he was probably one of my favorite characters in the movie. Too. Um... Yeah, but Vision hurts him, and he loses his legs, and he gets paralyzed. So yeah, but there's a guy who even plays a bigger role than probably Iron Man in the movie. I'm serious, too. He may play as big as a role as Iron Man in the movie, and he's also on Iron Man's team. And he is... There. Black Panther is um probably the most main character in the movie, other than Captain America, of course, because it is called Captain America. But, um, yeah, he probably plays a huge role in the movie. Um, he is the, um, king who died in the beginning's son, so. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, he was probably my favorite character in the movie, other than Spider Man. Spider Man is pretty funny in the movie, just saying. He was actually really funny in the movie, but, um, this guy, he was pretty cool. Um,. It was obvious who he was if you um, watched the um, cartoon version a long time ago. I do with the comics. But yeah. Um. Got those claws to rip out people. Just in peace, people. So the last one, I mean. Honestly, I wouldn't count her as one of them. But she's kind of on both sides because. Um, she helps Iron Man, like, fight them, but then once Captain America is, like, all trapped from Black Panther, she just, like, lets him go. She, like, fights off Black Panther. So, call her both sides. She's the midpoint, let's just say. Alright, so that's Team Iron Man, and we're gonna go with Team Captain America. It's time for Captain America, so, um, he's probably the main character in the movie. Um, he tries to protect his friend, and, um, yeah. So, his friend's name is Bucky, um, but you probably saw that in Captain America 2. Um, yeah. So, I mean, he's my, probably one of my least favorite Marvel characters, that's all I'm gonna say, but... He is the main character, he is the captain, he is all that. So... Yeah, I don't want to spoil it too much about who wins, you know, but, yeah, it's pretty cool, 
So the next character is obviously Key. So um, he is um Captain America's friend. So yeah. Um so in the old movie remember like he um in the end he was like a good guy. So all you have to do is like say these magic words, I forgot what they were called, but they just like make him turn evil again. So yeah. So he just like killed people and Captain America had to get with him and that's how they all started fighting basically. Um so yeah. Oh, I mean it was a misunderstanding too at the same time. But oh this one. So yeah, I don't know. I, he didn't really play that much of a part. He was more of just like a character who was just getting trying to get captured. Next we have Falcon. Um, you must have seen her in the old Captain America movies. He was awesome. So yeah, he has like this like little toy, and he just uses it to beat the shit out of people. That's just cool. I have to say about him. He just kicks ass, boys. Next we have a Titan Titan. Oh, whoops. Wait, 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 hold on. I made a huge mistake. Well, Ant Man. So, Ant Man. You might be asking why I got confused with Attack on Titan? Well, you'll see in the movie because he's pretty small. Or maybe he's just like as big as, uh, this. Um, so. So, Ant Man, um. He just turns big and he's small. So if you read the comics, um, wait, what was it? Because the giant man and Ant Man are the exact same human being. Which makes no sense. Because why is he called Ant Man when he could just turn into a giant fucking dick? Um, so yeah, that's one of the other characters. Um, you never know. But there's the witch who just has magical powers for some reason. They never said why, so whatever. Last but not least, there is Hawkeye, who is definitely my favorite character in all of Avengers, all of Marvel, I don't care. He's all skill, and also he's pretty cool. Um, so he doesn't play a huge part in the movie, I'd say. He just comes at the end for a little bit, and fights a little bit. But, still, you never know what can happen. Alright, uh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. 